animations are something that some people kind of struggle with wrapping their head around. So what I thought I'd do is kind of run through something that's kind of like an animation 101 in Camtasia. Okay, so here is my little demo video project and on the timeline here I basically have just a simple white rectangle. It's uh, basically on the callouts tab and it's just this guy here and I made it white just so we could have a white background to kind of play with. Okay, now here's the thing with animations. Uh, I'm going to go oh, just at some point here and I'm going to click the add a callout button because I want to make something move and I'll show you basically how we can do that. So here's just a, a regular little arrow call out and this is essentially just an image. Okay, And of course on the Camtasia canvas here what we can do with things like images, you see I have all these little handles and things like that. I can make it bigger. I can click on it and drag it around and move it. Okay, so there's all these things we can do with, with images and things like that. We can do the same things with video clips. So anything that's essentially on the timeline, except for audio, of course, we can manipulate up here and just mess around with. Okay, so one of the things we're going to mess around with is making this guy move. And like I say, animations work for images, for these callouts, for video clips, anything that we can put on the timeline. So here's kind of the way to think about animation. I'm actually going to take the uh, fades off of this guy for just demo purposes. So think of it this way. The little arrow is the image. And at some point on my video, as it's chugging along here, it's going to get to that image and it's going to show up. And it is going to stay on the screen until it ends, right? So it's at this point just sitting there. And it's just sitting there because I have not told it to do anything. So what we can do with animations is we can tell whatever we're selected on here to do something, to change location, to change properties, if you will. So basically, let's uh, think about it this way. And I'll just kind of set up a demo scenario, follow me through it, and then we'll get a good idea of how this works. So this is where the image is located right now. Let's say for this little demo, I want to have it off out of the video over here. So I'm just going to drag it over and then I want it to animate into my video. Okay, and by into my video I mean anything that's in white here. That's my final video. So I'm just going to pull this guy off the screen and what you'll notice is that I moved it and it, 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 this is where it is now. That's where it starts. So the key to animations is to put whatever it is you want to animate where you want to start from. Okay, so that's point number one. Then at some, I'm just going to move in here a little bit and say that, oh, about here, I want this animation where it comes into the screen to happen. So the way we do that is I'm going to click the More tab and I'm going to go to Visual Properties and I'm going to click the Add Animation button, right? And now I'm just going to tell it what I want it to do. And what I want it to do is to go from here to here, right? So here's the kind of the secret sauce. And you might sometimes you might want to kind of, I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit, make it stretch it out, make it bigger. Uh, and by bigger I mean finer detail. So here's kind of the secret sauce. What I did was I made that this animation and you know it's an animation because it's this little green arrow and this little blue dot, right? Remember what we did at the beginning though. We started it here, okay? Then after the animation we told it to go to here. So here's kind of the, the way to wrap your head around this. Before after. And it's really just as simple as that. 
there's a beginning position and an after position. So the animation that I put in, you know, I really just drag it where I want it to go and kind of make it do what I want it to do. So now we have this little animation guy down here. And there's a couple things we can mess with as far as that goes. I can stretch out the little tail, click it, and drag it out to determine how fast that animation happens. And I can also click on the arrow and move it to determine when the animation starts. Okay, so this is, this is the timeline. As my playhead moves through time, this is how my video is rolling. And at, when I get to the bottom of the, the end of the animation here, watch the screen, and it's going to perform the movement from my start position to my end position, right? So let's say that that wasn't quite where I wanted it to be. I can put my playhead anywhere after the blue dot, which is the end of the animation, and I can just make a change and then watch what happens. Remember, start position, end position. And essentially what I did there was I changed the path of the animation. Let's just let that roll. That might be a little slow. So what you can do is just kind of tweak it up a little bit. And to, you know, get your timing and things so that you're happy, the only way to do that really is to preview it. So we'll play it. And gosh, not quite fast enough. Let's make it just really whip through there. How about like uh, in a second? Put it at the beginning state. And zoom. Bam. All right. So now what I did was I said, here's your beginning state. Here's your end state. Camtasia, you do the animation for me here. And it will stay there. Notice I'm scrubbing and it's going to stay there until such time as I may or may not tell it to do something else. So let's try an example of that. So it's staying there, it's staying, and let's add another animation. So I put my playhead and click add animation and then basically just repeat the process. This time let's just not do a straight move. I'm going to grab the little twirly handle here and kind of spin this guy around and we'll just make him go out the other side. So as you see there, you can have like multiple movements or actions. You just literally, you know, uh, move it how you want and make it do what you want and the animation will then take care of the rest. So now this was my beginning state and I told it to do something. Let's let that roll. See how that works. Spin and move out. Okay? And you can just basically repeat the process. So you can do this again with any kind of object that you can put on the timeline, but it's really just kind of that simple. You know, I can adjust when that happens, how long it lasts, and those are the main kinds of properties that we can mess with. Uh, you can also kind of play around with some stuff up here if you like. Actually, let's try something a little funky because I'm feeling a little funkier than I was last night. So remember, I can change anything until my next animation. Just put the playhead somewhere and let's play with like uh, some scale or something. Maybe I want to shrink it down a little, have it shrink before it zooms out. Okay, so what, what I did was I changed the, the end state. So now it's going to fly in and shrink. Right? So you can play with stuff like that. Uh, let's see, I could mess with the opacity or use uh, some of these other rotate kinds of things. I'm going to just do this. It's actually going to spin around the Y axis and I'm going to have it spin a few times just for giggles because we can. And I seriously have no idea what that's going to look like, but I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> Uh, woo! That was probably pretty quick for the webinar. I'll slow that down so you guys can see it because actually it was kind of cool. So here it goes. 
I told it to come in, shrink, and spin. And then when it gets to here, it's going to perform the animation that I told it to. So it's going to fly out. Oh, I, I guess we put a spin on that guy too. Cool. All right. Uh, was that useful for folks? You know, was it um, a little bit of an explanation? Animations is one of those things you've got to kind of wrap your head around. And believe me, this used to be wicked tough in the old days of, like, Flash. There was something called tweening, and you had to put in all these individual keyframes and stuff, and, oh, it was just horrible. Uh, ask me how I know that. <laughs> uh, it really was just a chore, and it was terrible.